All right, I got a two-part video, two short parts. This coil that looks like a football. There's nine, indi nine individual coils all crossing at the middle, lapped, going around in a circle, nine of them. It's being controlled by this huge circuit. Anyway, so all coils are pretty much always powered, um, but it's imbalanced because there's two negatives, one positive, and two positives, one negative, and it steps around. Now, this creates... A virtual rotation as you see but not exactly smooth because something's wrong with it um, just the design it's very very difficult I'm finding out to get virtually rotating coils to use two polarity and continuously rotate evenly so we have exact even rotation between about here and here on this side and we have even rotation on this side but in between the three poles here and the three poles there, it's not exactly even as you see. Because that's when the coils start over again. And I don't know how to make them go in the other polarity without doing 18 coils instead of 9. So I'm not sure how to correct that yet, but I'm working on it. Anyway, this is part 1. So it's rotating. Now, I'm not just flipping polarities of two coils. This is actually nine coils going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And always power going into these coils, not cutting and switching. It's always um, powering and going around in steps. And as you see, it is rotating pretty nicely for half the rotation. And it stops and then it does the other half. I'm going to work on improving this, but anyway, this is part one. Next, I want to show you what happens with the induction. So let me speed up the frequency because I didn't get an induct going that slow, Not in, nothing really. I'm going to speed it up, and this thing is going to stop moving because it's going to be going quicker than the compass could keep up with it. So we're going to lose that, and we're going to lose a bunch of the magnetic field because the higher frequency makes the amperage go down. But anyway, I'll be right back. All right, we just increased the frequency. Now the compass ain't moving no more because it's going quicker than the compass could uh, maintain. Um, here's the amperage coming in. I have the power supply locked at 15 volts. Here's the amperage coming into the circuit. 311 milliamps. Okay, now this is just a pickup coil on a ferrite rod. And I'm just going to bring it next to it and touch it. Okay, we're going to watch... What happens I have the scope hooked up so you can see some sine waves and this has a load in 8 ohm resistor now obviously this one coil going like this ain't gonna pick up a lot because you know it's not flush against it and it's all awkward and stuff but watch what happens all right 311 all right let me find a hot spot here okay Two hundred ninety one, two hundred ninety four. Now I'm going to take it away. Ready? Three hundred eleven, two hundred ninety three. Take it away. Three hundred eleven. Bring it close. Two hundred ninety three, two hundred ninety. 300 to 296 take it away 311 the amperage and the power that we're using to power the coil goes down as we take power precisely as an alternator should be doing so the rotation is doing what it needs to be doing and the effects are manifesting where it's starting to send reactive power that it inducts back to the supply so it's starting to do what it's supposed to do but how to get the most out of these effects and how to correct that rotation to be a hundred percent fluent and of course, I'm going to have to use a good induction coil, not something like this, you know. Thinking about winding it right on these, 
lapping it, but I got to figure out what poles are what. But anyway, we're uh, starting to get the desired results again. So we'll see how much we can improve this.